<laughs> yeah. yeah. Heroes die. That's what they do. Oh, Folks, yeah. it's Saturday night. You know what that means? It's Murder Hobo Week Time live. Over Kyle. With the campaigners. Uh, is this the last episode of the campaign? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe One not. More. We shall One more. See. The DM uh, wants a we brick, will, so uh, we're done this we will, go, <laughs> we will go ahead and do a <laughs> recap here in just a minute. Uh, first, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us about D&D, join our Discord server. Uh, if you want to buy some cool stuff like uh, ooh, a phone case, uh, the link is like down the there. Uh, and the shirt uh, and the <laughs> bath mat. And the duvet cover and all that other shit. Uh, most importantly, if you want a seat on Tuesday's talk show or on one of our one shots, a lot of them are coming up here. Uh, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on a show. Give you a couple hours of fun and games. Uh, like I said, we'll do the recap here in a minute. Uh, thanks to Pirate Dog Dice for the dice that I am going to use to kill these fuckers. And of course, oddfishgames.com. If you missed their show the other day, uh, it, we were showcasing their got it. New product, got it. The Shine Project. <clears throat> oh, you get it? Yeah, I, nice. I got two copies. Nice. There you now, it looks like it's a cult, and it is. But <laughs> <laughs> all you have to do is call the Michael Vanguard, and you're good. Play and if you want to replace the sponsor that's probably just dropped this, go ahead and let us know. <laughs> we still have uh, let's sponsors? In- yeah, we still have sponsors, despite Kyle's antics. Uh, let's introduce you to the oh, cast shit. tonight. Uh, we will start with our northern ally, Chris. Oh. Chris, who are you and who are you playing? Uh, my name is Chris. I am playing Beniz, the Era Kokra uh, cleric. Uh, I also uh, paint on Twitch do mini painting, I should say. I'm tired. Um, and also have an Etsy shop. Uh, CG mini painting all over the place. And CG minis on Etsy. There you go. Uh, next up is Luke or er, Ernest. Ernest, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, yeah, so my name's Ernest, and I'm playing Lucas the Anti Druid. And uh, right now, my entire goal is to not die and get back to my uncle that is potentially dead or alive somewhere. <laughs> That fucker's dead. Uh, My only <laughs> remaining family. Let's Sorry, put it that. Lucas. He's dead. Carol, you're up next on the East Coast. Hey, everyone. I'm Carol. I am a commissioned mini painter, longtime gamer, and occasional GM. And I'll be GMing in December <laughs> to give Frank a break. Can't wait. Um, and I am playing Taryn. I'm My... still going to kill your character. Shush. Have I, yeah, after all the stuff I've been, tr- all the crap I've been posting on Twitter about him, uh, he's totally going to kill my character. Uh, but I'm playing Taryn, my half high elf, half wood elf bard, who uh, <clears throat> will see. Uh, I- I've told myself I'm not going to cry on stream. I'm not going to cry on stream, but <laughs> who friggin' knows? Uh, last but certainly not least, Kyle. <laughs> William Defoe. Oh, I love that movie. I haven't seen that one in such a long time. There was a firefight! <laughs> that's, no, that's not exactly the movie I was talking about, but I do like that one, too. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you talking about The Lighthouse? <clears throat> oh, I saw that Christ. with Robert. I only know him in that movie in Spider-Man, so... <laughs> He's hot, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> we may get to the game tonight. I don't know. Oh my god! This Hope is why so. it's been forty-two fucking episodes. <laughs> it's been a great two years, guys. <laughs> so who do you play, Kyle? <laughs> I, ha- I hate this job. I really do. I hate this fucking. That's job. why he keeps doing. Hi, it. everybody. I play Dewey Dacamel, the gnome lie barbarian. Uh, um. I don't have really much to say. We've seen a big, big shift in character throughout the entire campaign. And now he's going to die. But luckily, <laughs> I'm going to die. God still loves him. And he's going to come back to life anyway. Yeah. So. And your daddy hates you. So your living yeah. daddy hates you. My living yeah. Daddy. The you know, one that's think, trying to hey, kill you. The only one I'm going to let live is Lucas. 
Fuck everybody else. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I appreciate okay, that. And the only reason dead. why I may live is because I flee at the first sign of any fight. <laughs> Folks, it, it has been about two years with these guys, uh, and this may be the last episode. We may have one more left in it. Depends on how they do tonight. Let's go to the quick recap. More. These guys are trying to infiltrate the city of Fulton to find the third piece of an artifact. They already have the first two pieces of the rod of catching. Uh, they are looking for the third piece, an orb known to be somewhere believed to be the governor's residence uh, of Fulton. Uh, Taryn grew uh, up in Fulton. Mayor's residence. Mayor's residence. Uh, Maniz has flown in and flown out of uh, uh, Fulton. Lucas and Dewey have never been to Fulton. Among the other things that they have to contend with are uh, the racist overtones in the city of Fulton, uh, which will attribute <coughs> to each one of them. Dewey's, uh, one of Dewey's My Two Dads may or may not be in Fulton. Taryn may or may not be wanted in Fulton. Maniz is certainly wanted in Fulton because he made friends with a female Aarakocra and has been fingered or feathered he as was... a problem. And wow, Lucas wow. may or may not have lost his only surviving relative <laughs> on the previous episode, courtesy of Anaga. These guys have come up with a great plan to infiltrate the city, which they enacted last time. They have all gone group invisible. They have flown up and over the walls. They have landed inside the city of Fulton, invisible, only to see that the miscreants, the criminals, the troublemakers, and pretty much everybody Terran knows has been put on uh, crucifixes. Kerosene has been poured into their gullet, and oh, they God. are human torches lighting oh. the street. Uh, these guys are about four hours away from midnight, which Dewey may or may not go ahead and explain to the group. Go ahead, Dewey. Really quick. Are they torches if the flame's on the inside? Wouldn't they be human lanterns? At least for the first part. Oh, God, never remember, I put a wick down their throat. Tiki so, torches. Yes, they're tiki torches. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Folks, if you haven't guessed, mature audience is only because it gets kind of gruesome from here. Oh, God, yes. Without the human torches part. Uh, you guys have all landed uh, next to an Chris inn <laughs> uh, in a secluded portion, albeit uh, you got to watch uh, the lantern barons light a few people that Taryn does not know. Uh, it is dusk, it is dark. Everybody, give me a perception check to start this game off. All right. And for the Ooh. record, Taryn hasn't found anybody she's known yet. You've only found two people, so. Big old well, nine. I've called to, I've contacted two people, but I haven't found any. I haven't actually found any of them. What was your uh, scale? One, Maniz? Perception. Huh? Did you say a one, Maniz? No, no, big old nine. Oh, okay. 19. Right. 13. One! Uh, Lucas. <laughs> Taryn, you spot fireballs coming from the bay. God fucking... Are and they the, headed... The city is now under siege by Lord Bushmill and maybe the three-ship armada, maybe only two. Uh, this is part of their plan. They were supposed to infiltrate the uh, city of Fulton. Red blanket. I thought they were supposed to just hit the gates, not well, the whole city. They're firing was, on the docks, so God. For, I mean, I mean, if they're firing on the docks, that's fine. I just, you know, they know we need to sneak around, so like firebombing us is probably a really bad idea. Right I now. prefer this more chaos, better <laughs> distraction. Let's, okay. let's light the rest of the city on fire while we're at it. No. Let's burn it to the ground. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and throw up the city image. Uh, yeah for everybody to see. You guys are <laughs> over you, by the library uh, in that walled section uh, next to the two small white uh, areas, which are open gardens. Uh, in what direction would you like to go? We need to get to the mayor's office, so the quickest way to get to the mayor's office. Do you want to... And I'm pretty uh, sure I know that. 
we well, could fly actually could fly. we could fly and i was I, it's just funny because i was thinking about that i'm like we should just have flown to the mayor's office i can tell you how to go i would say we should probably take a rope and connect because we can't see each other right now and manis carry us all at once no no <laughs> no, no, no i could no. probably only carry dewey at, yeah. at max and that's about it like i, I couldn't carry either of you I okay. say we all hold on to a rope and we walk. We can do that. Um, it won't be as fast, but and time is of the essence. Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, that's fair. So I take out a rope and I feel around and hand it to everybody and I'll be at the front So because okay. I know where I'm going. So you you're go. going to uh, Karen, go down the bay? Rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that would be... Have to, I'd have Where to reach really... Either? I'd have to reach really low to get to you, so. Really low. Yeah, He's really. He's like a low. tripod. Because you're like, because you're like about, you know, <laughs> two feet tall, right? He is He's like, Rodrigo no, no, He's... the Warhammer. No, he's like mini me. He's like a fucking freaking tripod. <laughs> okay, boys and girls. Uh, Taryn, you're leading the party. Sure. Are you going to go down the main avenues? Yeah, I mean we're invisible, so we can yeah, let's bump into people. You know, well, I'm going to try not to, well, no, we they, can the, see them. We're invisible, but the rope isn't. So they, what, they just see a rope? No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when I we hold it. I wondered if anybody would catch that. <laughs> I thought, yeah, but I thought if we were all holding it, it would be invisible too. It's a too. ghost rope. We set it on The rope fire touching us, maybe, the part us. touching us, but in between us would still be visible. Ah, oh, shit. Perrin! <laughs> <laughs> so right, then, pieces of rope floating then, along. <laughs> then honestly, I think Taryn would realize this, even if the player doesn't realize this, uh, and wouldn't do that. We just we'll hold hands. <laughs> uh, Taryn, uh, and we'll go. That's I not my hand, Taryn. <clears throat> I can't. I'm not reaching down that low. D12? I have to lift it up and over to make sure it doesn't drag. Seven. Good news. Uh, you guys are doing the Ferris Bueller jaunt through the city. <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, when whoever is behind Taryn bumps into her because oh. she's come to a dead stop at a human torch. Oh, shit. Oh, you recognize this person, don't you, Taryn? She does Chris recognize this Taren. person. Who is it? Right, who's it? It is a female. It's Michael B. Jordan. Uh, oh. no, she's... I, I'm missing the names of all your people that you gave me. Oh, God. Well, I mean... But it, it is somebody that you know. Uh, it is not a close personal friend, but it is somebody that you know. Uh, the dying eyes look down in sadness as the wick stretches out of its mouth. Shit. Are they still ah, alive? Ah, ah, it... It apparently can see invisible as the light dies in its eye. Oh, damn it, because I was going to take off my cloak and put the fire And out. then slowly relights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, can you imagine everything? Oh, God, that would be awful. There you go, Taryn. Uh, you want to keep going or no? Oh, no, nope, nope. I have to put it aside and keep going. Um, There's no... F F F FYI, use a cantrip to... Uh... To I make am... the flames double. <laughs> I I ignore it. I'm actually gonna look at the ground away from it. Right I, from I, I I want to help put them out of their misery. Uh, so I, I use my control fair. flames cantrip to double the flames. Actually, you should uh, shrink the flames, make it burn smaller, because I hear it's the smoke that actually kills them. So just make it a small ember that slowly. Burns. Can right, I just I, move the flames up to the brain inside? I think they're already de right. They're already dead, right? They yeah, I know. Yeah. The the injury. I know. This go. was just me fucking around. Me. I know uh, it is, and I love you. I love you, Ernie. But Lucas, you noticed that uh, the flame Lucas. management has caught the attention of the lamplighter, go. and they are walking go, over. Go. We just go. We just go. We just go. Okay, uh, everybody roll d20s. Uh, only a one will break grip. If you roll a one, uh, you will be separated from the group. Should we at least decide our in order? To decide I roll in that separated? 20 when it doesn't matter. <laughs> what what, what, what do I got that rope good. <laughs> I got a 17. Those are 15. Okay. Uh, you move uh, through the city as quickly as you can. You pass more 
human torches. Fortunately for Taryn, she does not recognize any of these individuals. You get to the bridge going over the river. Looking down, you notice it is filled with corpses of animals. Oh, okay. And people. humans. Slash How many people are actually noise. living in the city at this point? A lot less currently. <laughs> uh, everybody give me a <laughs> check at disadvantage. A what check, sorry? Perception uh, what? check at disadvantage. Oh, I had a net 20 and a 13. Oh, a 13. That, yeah, disadvantage killed me because it would have been decent. And I only rolled a 17. 2 and the other one. So that's 17. only a 6. 6. Lucas? 14. Um, and he's, you notice that uh, everybody notices that most of the city is dark. Uh, however, your eagle eyes or Aarakocra eyes uh, do spot some areas of illumination not caused by bodies, or so you think. As you cross over the river, you notice three pockets uh, of said illumination. Uh, one of them is not the family home of Terran, which you would not have any well, idea. You would know where it is, yeah. As you cross over the bridge, you enter the government section. Maniz, you are very well aware of this area. This is where Ketchup Keat, your uh, brief love interest, was captured. This is also where the mayor's assassination attempt occurred. Uh, maybe successful, maybe not. In the center of this grand plaza, among the dirt and the scolding bits of bonfires set by people, uh, is the large government building. Uh, you see several troops moving about. Everybody give me perception check as you hide in the shadows, even though you're invisible. 18. Eight. Nope, just... Just nope. That's not a one, but it's nope. It's seven. <clears throat> Lucas, you spot somebody who appears to be a leader type in the center of the square, kind of sitting on a gallows spot, which Maniz will recognize as the stage where the mayor assassination attempt occurred. The individual is good looking and in shiny armor. He oh, seems shit. to be yelling out, uh, different things at the uh, guards patrolling the government area. You cannot tell whether or not he is with them or against them. I don't see him. <laughs> oh, I don't see him, damn it. Nope. <laughs> so I'm the only one who sees him? Yep. There is a lot of smoke. Also, all four of you now can hear the and you can see the fireballs coming in from the bay. Please note, the mayor's office is only about three blocks away from the dock region, and those flaming projectiles, eh, they let's just say they aren't using the uh, guidance system that the U.S. military did in Iraq. <laughs> what, what, so they're hitting their mark? Canadians? No, they are, I was going to say, <laughs> are they really accurate? Or? They are not really accurate. <laughs> Um, oh no, the same that the American. Right, where the four of you are holding hands, you are at the entrance to the plaza. Question, guys. All right, I you all. Lucas, your hands are really. Warm. You all know. That's not his hand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you all know that I'm pretty sneaky, and I have ways to contact you. And for all I know, we're walking into a trap. Do you yeah, to want to wait and let me scout inside? Oh yeah, yep. that sounds like a great yep. idea. See you later. Um, yep. No problem. Let's, let's, let's no, wait. What's no, the let's range? Go to the library, guys. All right. Wait, wait, stop. What is the range on it? New Year's, folks. Thanks very much. We appreciate it. We're starting a new campaign <laughs> next year. <laughs> is there a range on invisibility? Not a, not after you catch it, cast okay, it. Okay, so I can. So then I can go in, and you guys can fuck around out here. All right, I'm in. I said I'm invisible, wait, and I wait, have... no, I don't want to wait here. This no, is not. Wait. Let's all go no, together. No, no, no. So wait we know wherever. all the news all at once. No, wait. Where Where are you gonna wait? Um, let's wait at a spot where if your invisibility goes down because you lose concentration, it right. won't be in front of everyone. Right. No, that's <laughs> not here. Oh, <laughs> but, all right, all right. So, so. So here's, here's the deal. Yeah, obviously, if the if it goes down and you don't hear like a sending message from me, 
something bad has happened. The clomp of boots is heard coming from directly in front of you down an alleyway as a cadre of guards, hut, 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 about 20 well-armed guards are running past the plaza in front of you. They appear to be headed towards the dock region as they pass. Uh, everybody roll perception check except Lucas. And uh, we stop talking. Except me? Okay. 15. That was much better. 14. 15. Uh, all three of you <laughs> and Lucas notice a man in shining armor chiding the individuals. That's right, ladies. Hurry up. Hurry up, ladies. Uh, Taryn. I hope that's... That, that individual looks awfully familiar. That's my boyfriend, isn't it? That's it your is boyfriend. Lauren and... Although I, I can't imagine him talking like that. Jeez. Well, you've been gone a while. <coughs> Laura and somebody Thing else. Wind. Laura, Laura, Na Laura Nance. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, as much as, you know, I want to run to him, I'm not going to. I can't. I got, we got to focus on what we need to do. Lucas, the guards that He's he alive, was fighting though. earlier seem to be setting the government building on fire as the troops run towards the docks. Oh, shh. Wait, the place I've got to go in and scout now? Mm -hmm. All right. So, so that's one, probably not where this artifact's at. Oh, uh, I know. Uh, that's where the clues was. And I have a funny... I have a the, theory. They're setting the building on fire. I doubt it's where anything important. They is. they might not know. They might not know it's there. It might be something like. How far like, away is the government building? It's across the plaza. I'm gonna uh, maybe go. Hundred yards. I I Would want someone to. Someone cast detect magic, and I think that's within range. Yeah, but you gotta. I think you gotta Let's be in the see. same I'm room sure with I it. Pretty sure I have it. Give detect magic is. Oh. Or no, I'm this thinking spell. of the thirty other feet. One. I'm thinking of the other. Yeah, it's not find object, locate right. object. Yep. All right, I'm I'm gonna go in for a quick look. Um, I take off quickly, take off my backpack, and I, I'll hand it to either one of you guys because it's got the box in it. And if <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll take me, it. No, I'm not gonna give it to you. I give it to either two of your buddies. No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, we, we'll... we can't hold that and the artifact. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. The box oh. does not count. The, the box is not. I asked uh, that question. Problematic. I now. will stick out. Uh, right now, Maniz has a piece. Lucas I will stick out my hand to grab the bag. I know it's you're not feathery, so I'll hand it to the feathery one. Or the short. I guess one. I'll take it. <laughs> he doesn't Maniz, have a piece. Your best guess is the second level up on the inn, just at the entrance to the plaza. Might be the safest bet. It does have a canopy over it. Um, it was where you were nearly picked off earlier. A flaming projectile comes close and scatters across behind Terran's boyfriend, uh, who lifts a flag and guzzles it and laughs heartily <laughs> as he sits on the gallows. A small Heineken court keg next to him he's getting shit faced uh so taryn has passed off the box to the feathery one Maniz. you're sprinting across and trying to of course avoiding uh, people saying nothing and trying to do it quietly there is nobody out here other than the cadre of guards who have hut hut hutted their way and towards my the docks all right that's right Maniz. oh and the guy's setting fire to the government building uh Maniz, dewey and lucas where are you gonna um hide? Uh, yeah, we didn't agree on a spot, did we? Oh, shit. You have not well, shit. I was thinking the, like Frank had mentioned, the inn would be a good place. Could hide Going back a, to it? Somewhere. I... It's right on the corner. Oh, can... it's, it's nearby. Mm. So, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, too bad you didn't tell Taryn that. Okay! I'm not uh, worried. <laughs> she has sending. Have... She'll find us. I have sending. I can, yeah, that's not a problem. Uh, but he's, you notice off. that the exterior has changed dramatically. It appears as though somebody's torched the inn at some point in time. The windows are boarded up. However, the stairwell does give you access to the second floor, giving you a fine view of the bay and the flaming projectiles coming in. Apparently, Lord Bushmill has decided, fuck it, we're burning this place to the ground. Uh, you also notice several cadres of troops pouring towards the dock area in anticipation of a naval incursion 
or a potential landing. Looks like that is going to be the front line. Uh, Dewey, Maniz, Lucas, give me D20s. Make sure you don't break grip. 18. Two. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. So close. Ten. Well, good thing we told him where we would be. <laughs> yeah, we I mean, left. it's not going to matter that much. <laughs> L Lucas right trips there. on the stairs that <laughs> goes up to the second floor. There is nobody on this landing, and it doesn't look as though anybody's inside the inn. Taryn, uh, let's see if you fall and scrape your knee. Give me a d20 as you burst across the cobblestones. Uh, Frank, Frank that's, a, that's a 15. So no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> DM and do you want to go close to the ex, or I'm sorry, the current boyfriend, or do you want to go around the back? Uh, Whatever is the quickest way into the building right now. I mean, and I'm invisible. I mean, if you want, I will make a stealth check. Odd. Uh, you will be going right past him. I know. Give me a stealth check. Uh, oh, that's good. That's um, 23. Very good. Uh, as you run past him, you notice that they lit it, boys. That building is on fire. And you sprint towards the door and you hear, oh, that reminds me of Taryn. Apparently he's Fuck. caught your scent. Uh, you make it to the- I'm not wearing any perfume or anything. Jeez. It's your armpit here. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you make it to the front door, it is blocked by two individuals throwing Molotov cocktails in. God damn it. Um, you want to wait or push your way past them? Oh, Lord. And there's These no individuals way. Individuals are not intoxicated. There's no way to sneak around, uh, sneak around them, right? Two fat guards. And they're friggin' burning the place? Uh, yeah, there yeah. are eight. Eight is <laughs> burning this place. Okay. Looks like the Reichstag. And there's Bring no other way. Two. So they're in the way, huh? You can go check the back door. All right. If they're in the way, then I will go check the back door. Sure. Left or right? Um, le I don't know. Left. Whatever's quickest. Left. That's going to require a stealth check. All right. That's fine. Lucas, Maniz, and Dewey. Uh-oh. Oh no! Wait, no, that's not good. But the thing of it is, do you, you does invisibility give you a bonus to stealth check? And I should be throwing in there like ten. I think. You're muted, Dewey. Advantage. I'll give you advantage. Right. I mean, because you're invisible. But she's oh, it's loud. it's a, oh, it's a, running. All right. Um. Well, if we're gonna just go with the straight roll, then that's he. That's icky. That's only an eleven. But if we do with advantage, you'll no you'll notice. I that think it's a ten. You'll notice that no. uh, your footsteps echo in the narrow alley, but uh, the individuals setting the building on fire have apparently not noticed you yet. All right. You make your way around to the back. <laughs> yeah, and you can. Yeah. Okay. We've resolved that. So. D twelve against me. Six. Wait, who are you doing? Wait, who did you ask that for? You, D12. Oh, me. Oh, all right. I thought you were going to them. That's all. I'm sorry. Uh, did you say six? Yep. Sorry. Oh, God. Five. Back door is locked. Manise, Lucas, Dewey. Perception check, please. I can deal with that. All righty. Eight. Eight. Twenty-five. Lucas, your half-elven ears pick up noise within the room right next to the balcony you are on. Somebody is inside. Oh. Um, so on the balcony over inside that room, or? You're on the balcony, and the room that it is attached to, There's it's boarded up, but there's somebody inside. Can I, can I peek through the slats and see? D12 against me. Uh, ready? That is a one. That is an eight. Nope, they have securely boarded it up with plywood ready for uh, Hurricane Etta. Uh, I whisper to my fellows that, hey, I think someone's in here. Hey, there's somebody in here! <laughs> 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 yeah, 
Yeah, I whisper to them that I think someone's in there. I hear noise. And Any way to sneak in there? You're all still invisible. boarded up. Um, if I cast gaseous form, does that break invisibility? I would say it's a concentration. Once you are done yeah, with gaseous form. It it's will. A, it's a concentration. It will. Um. Hmm. Well, <laughs> and I think attacking it will break invisibility as well. Unless yeah. it's so, greater. Unless you did greater. But greater's only last a minute too. So. Yeah. No. I I did normal invisibility, yeah. and so did you. So. Yep. <laughs> if anyone attacks, then we drop invisibility. This is great. Um, cool. I guess this is it, unless we try and go into that room from the inside, the building. You can try and find an entry point inside. Yeah. Is there another balcony with a door that's not boarded up? Uh, you can look at it as any cheap, cheesy motel. Uh, there is a hallway that leads into the interior where most likely the normal entrances would be. Ooh, fire weaken any walls on the inside or anything like that? You cannot tell. Let's go check it out, guys. And we're going to go to that hallway. Are you going to hold hands? Yeah, we're holding hands. <laughs> go through the hallway and uh, where a concession stand uh, pop machine would have been. Uh, you look left and right. To the left is where you were at. You notice that the doors on these uh, structures are all broken and you hear all three of you here scuffling down the left uh, towards where he, Lucas just heard the noise. Ooh, let's go check it out. <clears throat> you head that way. Taryn, the door is locked. That's not really an issue because uh, one of the nice things is when you level up, you can swap out a spell. So I cast knock. Okay, the door is knock, unlocked. Knock, knock, Boom, open the door. Give me a stealth check. <laughs> Cast <laughs> knock stealth. <laughs> oh, yeah, when that door opens up. <laughs> no, it's both a verbal. So if you like, I'd say. Oh, I don't mind the end. verbal part. I mind the door opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, that's not awesome you, either. But you have that to is... shout, open the fuck up. That's the spell. The spell knock? 15. The one that makes a loud noise 300 feet that people what can hear? What the hell are you talking about? Read the spell. Well, you know what? There's no one around, and I got to do it anyways. Oh, 300 <laughs> feet. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, what was your stealth roll? That's uh, almost half a kilometer. <laughs> We didn't. Far. We didn't need Bushmills a distraction. We have Taryn. <laughs> Sixteen. Uh, she is correct. There is nobody around yet. Uh, the door opens up, uh, and inside is the government building. Where would you like to go? Uh, wherever. I will assume Mayor's because office. you grew up here. Mayor's office. You right. So, yeah. Give me a uh, stealth. History. Oh, history. Okay. Uh, this place is on fire, by the way. I know. There's a thick layer of smoke. Yeah, there's no one in there. Uh, oh, that's a good roll. That's 16 plus. <laughs> My history is a 6 of 22. Yeah, you kind of remember where this thing is. Uh, I've as seen you go it? Through... Is it a drawer pull? What? No, you've seen the mayor's, oh, the mayor's office. office. All right. You haven't seen shit yet. Uh, as you go down the myriad of hallways in here, you hear the crash of glass as a Molotov cocktail comes in and ignites. Uh, give me a straight up D20. One through five means it got close. Frank, that I put part of the description that matters. That's 15. And that's fine. We got that. Uh, 15. So that's not one through five. Uh, okay, uh, the building is going up quickly because of its shoddy construction, uh, and you are starting to notice a big haze uh, forming in the low ceiling here. Uh, as you head towards the mayor's office, you can hear people inside rummaging around, laughing. Mm. It's like Nazis burning Shit. books. D12 against me, Taryn. Let's see Boy, if you run is... into company. I'm... 12. <laughs> yeah, I rolled well, too. I rolled a nine. You 
ladies do a shitty job of setting stuff on fire. Comes a very familiar voice as your boyfriend is wandering through. How the hell did he get here before me? I guess front door. He walked through the front door? (laughs) Why is he such an asshole? He was not an asshole before. He's clearly drunk. He's you drunk. Talk to him. <laughs> no, absolutely freaking no. Uh, <clears throat> no, got to focus on the task at hand. <laughs> Two guards who were setting things on fire block the way to the mayor's office, and they say, "Lieutenant Wind, we have done what you've asked. This place is not long for this world. Let's get out of here, boys. I got drinks for all of us." And I'm like against the wall, waiting for them to friggin' move. And then I go to the door. You recast invisibility? Has it been an hour? You cast the spell. You cast knock. knock. Knock is not an offensive spell. Cast a spell or attack. Oh, then I'll recast invisibility at fourth. Oh, I can't do it because you guys are far away. Yeah. I have I'm to do it, guys. We're not. Well, let's stop here. Right. We're okay. not. Or we're still invisible. They're still invisible. You're not. You are not. Oh, all right. Well, that's e- but that's easy. Um, that's easy enough. I can recast it. Uh, Taryn, By the way, for the folks at home, it may seem look- like I'm being the asshole pointing this out. Frank knows the rules well enough that he'll be the asshole who springs it on her as yeah, a surprise. I, I wasn't going to bother to tell her that she's visible. Oh, right, she's right, just right, like right. up against the wall Let's like go. and her ex is right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's too drunk. Wait, 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 guys. He's too drunk to notice. His guards aren't. Uh, Karen. Nah, it's fine. I D20, it. one through five means you... <coughs> <laughs> actually, as a note, I actually lower myself down. I'm trying to get away from the smoke. You know, what? What? Oh, no, oh. no, no. You, when there's smoke, you get down on the ground. A little bit lower. Right. How does that feel, baby? <laughs> okay, I just have to die, uh, that would be a 12. So, no, uh, I'm fine. You feel a cough edging up mm. your throat. And the guards are like, well, hell, I'm in, I'm in for the ale. Let's go. They move aside and head out the front door as the flames begin to lick the walls in growing Act- intensity. Right. Um, Back to Dewey, Manish and Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> there is noise coming from a building with no, or a room with no door. What would you like to do? From a room with no door? Mm-hmm. Uh, can I? The doors are on the inside, and then there are balconies. Oh. I don't understand how there's no door. I thought we went. I said inside. I thought we went inside to. So you guys went inside. Well, we inside. went. We went into the little hall that you said that leads inside. Hallway. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because so outside was boarded it's like up. This. Correct. Okay, so as you see here, you guys were on the balcony. You went through the hallway here, so the doors are on the inside. Oh, uh, so we still have to go way. forward and around the corner. Correct. Got it. Yeah, let's do that. You guys are all re- okay. Uh, there is noise coming from the building. Who wants to go or from the room? Who wants? To I go will in first. Fair enough. D twelve against. Woohoo! My D twelve. Eight. Eight, re-roll. Nine. One. Uh, there is noise coming from this area. It's somewhere in a secondary room. Oh, room off the room. Okay. Is that, that what I got? This, this would be on the back side, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, rooms, hence I keep creeping. Very stealthily like. Manise and Dewey, are you entering in as well? Oh, yeah, I'm holding their hands. <laughs> Manise and Dewey, I need D20s. <laughs> One through five is a bad thing. Dewey. Oh, uh, no, I rolled a three. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> both, both Dewey and Manise. 
Lucas, uh, <laughs> while you are fairly lightweight for a half elf, you have done enough weight damage to break the floor. And as Maniz and Dewey follow you in, a loud crack is heard, and your feet get stuck because you are on the second floor. Each of you suffers. One hit point of damage. So do we all lose invisibility now, or how does that work, Dewey? I am going to say we you keep invisibility. It, yeah. We still have it? Okay, yeah. cool. You haven't attacked anything. Right. Well, yeah, well, I just didn't know because it's concentration. I don't know if Taryn is the one because that has great concentration. Damage or anything. It's not concentration. It's not? I don't not think greater. So. No, not we're not greater. greater. We're doing regular. Oh, okay. That's why I'm like, you're all right. It is concentration. This. I, yeah, it's concentration oh, up to wait. one hour. Then the reality is it would drop on you guys. Yeah. Because I have to reconcentrate it on myself. Oh, uh, okay. You guys are visible. Uh, Lucas, you turn around. You notice that they have put their feet through the floor. And the noise in front of you has stopped. Cool. Um, yeah. Is there any furniture in this room? Oh, yeah. A lot of it's burnt. Can I remove myself from the floor and hide behind some furniture fast enough before they enter the room? I say, You're okay. down yeah, with Io. I don't know. If they're hiding from Io, they'll be like, yeah, down with Io. He sucks. Blah, blah, blah. Is that what you want to say? Are they yes. demi human? Viva la resistance. I'm hiding behind some furniture, FYI. <laughs> Lucas, a shadow leaps from the opening in the back room and cuts in between you and Maniz and Dewey, who are stuck behind. It is the size of a cat. Because it is a cat. (laughs) It's a cat? That's that's it? We've been through all this effort because of a cat? The cat runs out the broken door, uh, hangs a right, and all of a sudden you guys hear, look at that goddamn cat. Let's eat it. Oh, so there are people outside in the hallway where we came. There are now. Huh. I'm hiding behind furniture on the other side now. (laughs) (laughs) Maniz and Dewey, where are you at? I will pull my foot out uh, and hide behind the door. Okay. (laughs) Hide behind the door. I'm behind furniture. Maniz is just stuck in the floor, flapping his wings. (laughs) No, I'm going behind Lucas. He's back in the same room. This is ridiculous. You guys uh, do survival checks, Maniz, Lucas, and Dewey. Survival check? Not stealth. This is for something else. 19. Uh, Natural 20. All three of you recognize the sound of three individuals outside. Uh, The cat shoots across the opening, going the other way now, and three shadowy figures are in hot pursuit of it. (laughs) Back to Terran. Uh, Bad news. There were a lot of windows in the mayor's office. There ain't no windows no more, and everything is fucking on fire. Oh, fucking Lord. Um, all right. I want to first thing I want to do. The first thing I want to do is uh, I'd like to make a I don't know which either perception or investigation to see if I I guess it's perception if I'm trying to see if I'm not touching anything. Perception is just hanging out. Investigation is actively searching. Yeah. All right. Or Lucas will noticing. tell you. Well, the thing of it is, the thing of it is, I like. I'm, all right, I am actively searching. It doesn't really matter. I think the same, yeah, it checks the same number, anyways. So you just wasted three minutes of my yeah. life that I'll never get back. <laughs> Please. All right. So uh, I'm going to make an investigation check to see if I see uh, an orb that looks like the other one. Because sure. that's what we discussed in Green Room. That is actually pretty good. That's a 20, dirty 20. That is pretty good. Uh, you see that there is a lot of rubble on top of the desk. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Hmm. A lot of glass, I'm... a lot of wood, a lot of papers. All right. What I'm going to do is roll a d12 against me right now. Oh, shit. All right. I will wait until I hold that thought until after. Well. <laughs> Then fuck it, I'm just gonna give it to you. Well, I guess I could roll twelve, huh? 
I rolled a 13. God damn it, I rolled a 10. Uh, I'm just cursed. Whoa, Mike. Another Molotov cocktail comes in through the broken window and sets fire to the last remaining curtains that are on the floor. The room ignites and smoke begins to fill because those are heavy, heavy, heavy curtains. Uh, okay, so it wasn't a do? person. My camera's it's not a person. And my camera's blurry for some reason. It's new true. cameras, new tech for me. Uh, we'll deal with it later. Um, I all right. So if I don't, I'll go to the debris pile and I try to quickly. I'm doing everything quickly as I can. Stealth check, please. If you're doing it quickly, stealth check at disadvantage. Advantage. Uh, so that's yeah, a 15. Yeah, very good. Uh, you quickly sift through. You get small, minor cuts on your fingers from the yeah. broken glass. But Fine. you discover a golden orb <gasps> sitting oh, underneath the debris next to a large half-burnt tome. I'm going to grab both. Okay. I don't know what the tome... Do I have any idea what that tome is? Do you want to sit down and read it? No, but I mean... Is it a part of the lore of the city? Can I make a history check? It's a part of the lore of the city? Sure, go ahead and make a history check. Uh, that's not going to be bad. Uh, that's going to be a 19. It is a book on everybody in town who owns weapons. Really? I'm not going to take that. I'm going to let it burn, and I grab the friggin' orb and... Manise, Lucas, and Dewey, do you want to chase the three rabble who are going to eat the cat? No. Nothing but silence on the second floor of the inn. Cool. Um, Sneak back to the balcony again. Well, we're not invisible anymore. Remember this. Uh, <laughs> uh, it Two gave of us you cover, are. though, yes? I'm sorry? The balcony gave us cover, correct, though? Correct. Yeah. Um, so mm. what if the piece of the staff wasn't in the mayor's office? Should we also be looking somewhere? Trying to find Io or something? Or your uh, adopted father that wants to kill you? He's relying on the dice, man. I have to rely on the dice for this one. Splitting up would be illogical. We'll wait for Taryn, and then we'll go. Well, Taryn doesn't know, Taryn doesn't know where we're at anyway, so she has to send for us, so it doesn't matter where we're at. If you would like to give me your piece of the staff and the box, you can go look. No, 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 I don't want to leave you guys. That's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um i mean i guess we can wait here for taryn but isn't this building on fire it's kind of burnt out it's a little dangerous burnt out not not on fire not okay on fire. lucas we Manese. keep a close eye on lucas <laughs> everybody <laughs> everybody roll perception everybody including me yep that okay. would be everybody. Thank God. My freaking, the mic cord just fell out of my mic. 23. 12. Uh, oh, wow. Nat 20. Everybody here is singing. Taryn will recognize this as a folk song from Fulton. Lucas, Manise, Dewey. Looking down the hallway, you see a ring of about eight or nine men around the front entrance of the government building holding flagons and singing some kind of song. Taryn, you grab a hold of the orb, you step out into the main hallway, look out and see your boyfriend Rolf from The Sound of Music and eight guards. <laughs> In the building? Right at the front. Go ahead and sneak by him, Taryn. We've got I'm, your back all the way over here. You're probably still invisible. <laughs> I am I am still invisible because I did not have to cast a spell to find the orb. Uh, because I thought I was going to have to cast a spell to find the orb. Uh, the timbers in the ceiling begin to crack 
and I'm, dust begins to fall. I'm oh, going dust. Wait, uh, can I? If I go out the back door, do I go by them? Taryn, Taryn, listen to his words that he just described. Wait, <laughs> what did he say? I thought he said they were blocking the door. No, no, what did he say about the ceiling? Oh, the ceiling, yeah. But you tracking. guys are not even there. <laughs> I know, but we're yeah. trying to help tear it out. No, I'm trying to get the fuck out before they before they completely fall on me. That's why I'm trying to... The fall on you is not the important part. Wait, the timbers so... cracked and dust began to fall. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. <laughs> um... A ghost. <laughs> smart, fine, smart ass. I'm gonna briefly step in the room. I'm changing the spell to disguise self, and I'm gonna just look like uh, oh, I'm the just, fat I'm, bodyguard. I'm gonna. I'm you know just, what Io looks like, right? I'm not making myself look like Io. I'm Are gonna you pick, trying to burn me in my own building? No, I'm not gonna. No freaking way. No, I'm gonna make myself look like a guard, and then I'm gonna. Sh- you know, then I will. If worst comes to worst, I have to go by them. Otherwise, I'm going out the back door. I now realize now what you meant. Yeah, sometimes it takes a minute for me to friggin' realize what you're up to. D twenty, <laughs> please. Uh, Everyone. Oh, okay. So just a fi- no no modifier, mm-hmm. right? So fif- fifteen. No modifier. Uh, just as you head down the hall towards the back door, the main timber cracks, uh, sending ash and dust everywhere. Uh, looking back to see what happened, you notice the, uh, the singing falters for just a moment as they step back as apparently a large plume of flame, uh, covers your escape. Manise, Lucas, and Dewey, uh, you see the government building is fully engorged in flame, and you hear yet more noise is coming from the left, farther away from where you found the cat. Oh, poor Taryn. I hardly knew her. <laughs> she yeah, is dead. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I'm better than that. Come on. So there's Good more job. noise coming from the hallway? Yep. So we should probably not go in the hallway? Well, it's coming from the balcony area where one of the wooden planks covering that egress is not very sound. Uh, it's got a gap to it. Okay. So uh, should we get down to ground level? Dewey, Manise? Yeah. Okay, cool. Figure out what the sound is. No, 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 no. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> uh, do you want to go down the stairs that you came up or go to the far end and go down those stairs? Um, which is which direction did those three guys run? Towards the stairs you originally came Yeah, let's came not up. go that on those stairs. The other stairs leads to a back alley? <clears throat> yeah, that sounds safer. No, I'm asking. Manise D20. Fourteen. A flash of recognition as Ketchup Keat is wrestled to the ground on the balcony flashes through his head as you proceed that way. Oh, so uh, this was the room they made love in, right? Oh. No. No, that, this is where she got ah. captured. Uh, Manise, Dewey has asked a question. You only half-ass heard him. What was that, Dewey? Does the back stairs lead to an alleyway so we're not out in the open? Would I know the answer to this? Yes. It will. It, yes. it will. It will. Okay, cool. Let's, let's go that way. Alley seems safe. Go that way. We'll let uh, Lucas lead the way. Everybody roll perception, not Terran. Okay. 13. 16. Modify 20. Manise and Dewey recognize the voice as they pass by that area as a child's voice. Knock the child out, stuff him into a bag of water. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? So there's a child in the fire? Or in the burnout <laughs> building? You don't know that. You don't oh. know. <laughs> oh, so You're I don't know that the child is in this building that I'm going to set on fire here in a little bit once we get outside. Got it. Correct. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> or good to not know. 
a relative of Eunice Monk Slayer is hiding in one of the rooms. <laughs> <laughs> no crossovers, Frank. Back to Tara and out in the back alley. Uh, yeah. Oh. Now I look like a guard, though, at least. And I don't have to concentrate on this, and I don't believe it disappears when I cast a spell. Sure. D12 against me. All right. Uh, oh, you you win this time, because that's a one. <laughs> that's a straight line. Another cadre of guards comes by, and the sergeant at arms says, You! In line! Now! Yes, sir. And I will get in line. I'll get at the back of the line. Hut, 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 He is still behind you at this time as he lets the lower ranks Shit. rise. You are headed in with the guards and you reach the plaza and you hear, Ho there! Where are you going, ladies? And you recognize it as your boyfriend. Mm. Uh, the sergeant calls for the group to halt. And the boyfriend comes wandering over. Drunk. Um, Where are you going, ladies? I let the commander answer. Sir, we've been instructed to head to the docks and fend off any uh, ground assault. Hmm. And you're going to lead this rabble to them? As he walks up and down the ranks... He comes to you. Investigation. Uh, he's inebriated. Correct? Yes, he is. I kind of look back at him. Soldier, what is your first oh, duty? He's gonna recognize that. <laughs> Wait, what was that? I didn't hear the question. Sorry. What? Do you have shit in your ears? Is that no. what your problem is? <laughs> Car Carol did not hear the question. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, he wants to know what the first order uh, as a guardsman is for Fulton. God, would I even know? Would I know that? History? Intelligence check. Oh, intelligence. Okay. Uh, that is a 10 on the die plus, what's my intelligence? <laughs> Two, th uh, 12. <laughs> <laughs> to protect the city, sir. Yeah, yep, to protect the city. Whatever. <laughs> Get this rabble out of here. Yes, sir. Uh, I so want to say I love you, but damn it. You should. I'm sort of like, <laughs> I'm sort of like horrified by his behavior, too. But I guess, you. I guess it, it makes sense. I mean, it makes sense. He would do a Deadpool kind so of thing. I love you. What, what did he call him? Up him on the butt cheek as you walk away. <laughs> oh, I love you, sugar bear. <laughs> I'll never let anything happen to you, mustache. Uh, Carol, the second in command is still behind you guys. You will be forced to run across the plaza. I'm going to oh. run across the plaza. I'm going <sighs> to... D12 against me. I, get, I'm, I know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that this is. I love this shit, but I'm think this is a tough one. Uh, you're, you're, you should just cast invisibility on yourself and flee. No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, seven, nine, Shh. boom! One of Lord Bushmill's bombs hits awfully close, and the retinue scatters. All right, I'm gonna scatter like the rest of them, and I'm gonna go can find you? a place I can. I don't know they're at the end. I don't know Core. where they're. The, the core. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go somewhere where I can be off and I can cast uh, sending. Sure. Uh, plenty of buildings on fire around here. Plenty of spaces to hide. Uh, you hear the sergeant yelling and screaming for order. <coughs> get to the docks. Get to the docks. Da 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 da. You cast sending. Do, 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 Who am do, I gonna do, pick do, on? Do, do, do. Who am I picking on? I, let's see. I guess I'll pick on the knees. Oh, I'd be happy to take your call. No. <laughs> Um, let's see. Let's Screw see, you, see. Taryn. You hit my father's dead body. <laughs> That's why I'm not contacting you. You're not over it yet, and you can't think sure straight, I in my am. view. You guys Fine. Are getting, you guys are you know what? Fuck. You know what? Screw it. I will contact Dewey. 
<laughs> no, actually, no, I won't. No, I won't because I think. Wow, Manise... you're gonna really let them talk you out of it, huh? No, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna contact Manise because that was that was the original plan. Uh, I'm safe. Sorry about the invisibility. Where are you guys? Um... I put I put my answer in chat. <laughs> <laughs> That all right. So, uh, his, his, no, his, no his answer was please hang up. Try the your number you have reached is no longer in service. <laughs> no, the funny, not, the funny thing is you, you can't even fake the tone noise in sending, it's just the word tone noise. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, really? to make no, uh, um, no, basically, okay. so you get the yeah. gist of the message. Where are you guys? I'm safe. I have the orb. We're, have we're the just park. outside the uh, uh, burnt inn, if I recall correctly, right? Right by you. T- I hope you tell me which inn because this is Lee and this is wow, well, the one that's burnt down. <laughs> I'm sure there's more than one of those, but I'm going to assume it's the one right over there. And then I mean the one directly across from the plaza where you're standing at right now. Sure. Yeah, I'm in. I mean, I am in disguise, so I don't look like me. And you hear a crash of glass. Uh, Look. Uh, Your boyfriend is throwing the empty cask in through the last remaining glass window, and he is ordering, go check there, go check there, go check there, go check there. I whisper, I actually will whisper to myself, I'll whisper, I'm sorry, because I think I did this to him by disappearing. Of course, he probably knew why I disappeared, so (laughs) he's the guard. Uh... Hey, this is Taryn. I'm on the cross again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Manise, apparently there's something about, I'm sorry I did this to you. Uh, whatever. Gibberish, I, gibberish. No, no, no. That's not part of the message. Message done. Ah, no, it. no, he, no, we already did it. He told me where the, his answer back was where there were. I know. I'm You're just... dialing from your pocket. <laughs> You have message, pocket message. (laughs) Who this new phone? (laughs) Oh my god, that is so awesome. Uh, Send photo album to (laughs) recipients. Oh, I know. Oh, wait, wait. I knew I had enough words left. I'm also mentioned, I look, I am disguised as a guard. And uh, so they don't fucking just kill me. Kill her. That'd be so funny. And I come running up to find them outside that in. Well, first you have to so, cut across uh, Manise, the plaza. Do you tell us about this? <laughs> yeah, I said I, I had enough words left over to to have added that. I, I didn't worry about. I didn't ask you. I asked Mani. <laughs> oh yeah, did Mani? Did you tell yeah. them I'm gonna look like a guard? <laughs> I actually um, trust yeah, that you I do. Mean, I would. I would tell them all the information. <laughs> Mani's wouldn't lie about that. Taryn, uh, D12 against me, please. And by the record, that's why I did contact you because I know you wouldn't. You're a good guy, man. You're a good guy. Uh, Tito. Twelve. <laughs> and that's a, yeah. Uh, that's that's an eight. What man. you don't I know is a... his D twelve only has twelve. <laughs> I wish. Uh, I love this baby. Uh, whoa! Shit. Your boyfriend's yelling at you. <sighs> Soldier, front and center. <sighs> Norman Flee. <Damn> <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing the Paulie ass. Shore in the military movie. Our producer's did. making bad suggestions, uh, telling me I should just tell my Please, Lucas and Dewey. There are two guards headed your way. Uh, a shout out, Taryn. We kill Lucas. It's time. This is so bad. This is so bad. Well, so I thought. Oh, well, they hear you. <laughs> you're that absolutely makes... right to do. You, you. That's that makes sense. You see them nudge <laughs> each other and point in your general oh, direction. Oh, we're all fucked right now. Taryn, what are you gonna do with uh, oh, shit. boyfriend's back? And um, you're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna stop and turn to him, and wait till he comes up. Where are you running from, chicken butt? Uh, I'm just, 
I'm just going, you know, into town to see if there are any looters about. Bluff check? Sure. <laughs> Persuasion. Oh, persuasion, not bluff. Or I'm sorry, no, deception. Deception. Yeah. deception. I'm sorry, you're right. Too many freaking systems, okay? Stop uh, the that count. That counts as a Pathfinder comment. Yep. Shut yeah. up. This is not. Oh, right, so that's only a 12. <laughs> a really good deception. He's drunk. Son, there ain't no looters in town. In case you haven't been paying attention, they're all on crosses. Lighten the way. Go to the tavern and fetch me some alcohol. Why are you drunk? Don't you think you should keep a clear head for this, sir? Who are you talking to? You're who, not my who girlfriend. The, who the fuck do you think you're talking to, private? Back to Manise and Lucas and Dewey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> uh, you. <laughs> what are you going to do with the two guards? <laughs> well, I'm calling out to them, asking if if it's Taryn. Oh my lord. And oh, they're, they're, they're considering things, you. sure. That's that's a great <laughs> name to be yelled around this town. Taryn! <laughs> Stella! But I sound more like Rick from uh, Walking Dead. Coral! <laughs> Coral. <laughs> I, I will take <laughs> initiative from Dewey, Manise, and Lucas. No shit. Eight. Six. Wow. The All apathy. the good rolls come out when you need them. <laughs> Thirteen. The apathy is um. Thirteen is the care. winner. There are two guards and two more guards coming this way. They're they're not trying to attack us, are they? We haven't made any threatening moves. They are approaching. They're approaching. Dewey, Dewey is that. one initiative. Oh yeah. Do we do whatever? Are we out in the open when a uh, moron here calls to them? We I assume the not. Alley. Yeah, you're in an alley. I, I'm going to whisper to these two, I'm going back in the hotel. <laughs> and I will stealthily move back into the hotel. Stealth check. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, giant shit. dice don't work. <laughs> oh, oh, there no. it goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is reel? going to be a 24. <clears throat> Do we have a blooper reel? <clears throat> yes. Uh... Sort of. Uh, Dewey, you begin to sneak up as you reach the top level again. You notice there aren't two more guards coming. There's oh, four shit. more guards for a total of six. A total of six. Lovely. Yep. Uh, the nine beats the six and the eight. Let's see if the first two guards notice you. Uh, an 18 and a 17. You! Hands up where we can see it to my knees and Lucas. Oh, I don't have hands, though. I do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> they approach you. Over here. Over here. We've got some. We've got some over here. No, is it our initiative yet? It is uh, my knees. I run away <laughs> silently. <laughs> Uh, Lucas, that leaves you. I'm running towards where Dewey. Wait, I thought your initiative was six, Manis. Yeah. No, his no, was mine eight. was eight. No, 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 his was oh, eight. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I'm uh, the one who Misty steps for. I mean, leaves. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> goes <laughs> first. Uh, yeah, no, straight up, I'm, I'm Misty stepping out of there. Up. So you're going up with Dewey. Uh, yeah. Uh, Manis, are you running through the <laughs> alley or are you running up the stairs? Well, I'm running towards wherever Dewey went. Okay, you're running up the stairs. Uh, the screams and whistles fill the air. Back to Terran, who doesn't care. How many feet Terran, away are they? Uh, you were in the middle of the plaza, so about 50 God yards. God damn it, too far away. The screaming and yelling can be heard. And just as your boyfriend begins to carve into you, son of a bitch, go see what they're doing. Yes, sir. Now, Rook. <laughs> I, she goes. I go. I go back towards him. Uh, you hear him muttering underneath his breath. Uh, Thank God he didn't pick up on my voice. Well, she would probably have tried to disguise her voice to a degree. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about there. 
You wouldn't have put so many R's in your words there, Bostonian. Uh, Manise, Lucas, and Dewey, what? you are running for your life. But as you get to the top of the balcony, you look down, and those six guards are splitting up. <laughs> Those six Summer. guards are turning into seven guards. <laughs> Shit. We gotta kill them all. You also see another guard running through the center of the plaza. <laughs> so you have three coming up your original stairwell, three coming up the other stairwell. <clears throat> Doesn't look good. I've right. got an idea. Hey, Is that the bell being on fire? Hey, wait, wait. Am I within shouting uh, range of might them? That not be a bad idea. No, 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 listen, listen, listen to my idea. Listen. I can't yell. All yes, right. Lucas, let's light this bitch on fire. Okay. However, strategically, we'll light both ends on fire so they can't get to us. Right? We're on a balcony. I'm a bird. Right? So let's wait till they're close, light the bitch, and fly away. You can like turn into so a bird. So, first of all, first of all, first of all, I see an issue with your plan. Uh, Same here. <laughs> uh, how do we get on the other side of the guards to light the building on fire? Now, no, no, like, set the you, fire in between you and the guards. At, yeah, yeah, exactly. I got, I'm, I'm trapped. But there are guards when they're up the staircase. We light the staircases on fire and then fly away. And then go out and through the room in the balcony that's boarded up. Okay. We can break the boards. We can break the boards. Oh, no, no, no. One balcony was boarded up. The other one where we were originally hiding is not. So we can at least get outside and have Manise fly It was boarded up on the original the balcony. The interior room is boarded up. The second part, the farther part, where you're closest to now, has the loose board with the child's voice. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about yeah. the child. But I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. I, throw, I throw fire. <laughs> um... <laughs> We're just, and I'm using thaumaturgy to help the spread of the fire in any way I can. Which, which end are you setting on fire first? All of it. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. The, 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 street, the street side, because I don't want guards coming up from the front first. So your original location. Well, well, yeah, yeah. I would assume that if they get back up, it would come from that side more likely than the alley side. So that's the side I'm going to prioritize by setting on fire first. We want the guards to at least come in the building, though. That way, when we fly away, they're not looking at a shadow that's flying out of the building, though. Correct? I I, I don't care. I'm throwing fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, even front. <laughs> or, yeah. Yeah, no, behind. It's alley side. I threw fire. Fair enough. Uh, and Maniz, you're helping him with the thermaturgy? Do we give me a perception check? Okay. Uh, that is 17. I think they're coming back. Oh, no. Whoosh! Flame blocks the path for the three guards coming up from the plaza. Uh, Taryn, you see part of the inn erupt into flame, and you see three guards' shadows there. You also see three guards humping ass up the other side. Humping you also ass. Hear humping your, ass. You also hear your, uh, <laughs> your boyfriend scream out, Jesus Christ, where's my bow? Oh, Lord. Oh, uh, yeah, dr drunk shooting. That would be a great idea. Why, why, why does he know it rings, though? We're that? inside the building still, right? Remember, it's an, you're on the balcony. Oh, so they can see us. Oh, yeah. Especially now that you've created fire. <laughs> the illumination source is particularly outstanding. Um, you swear where are the, the children? Three. I'm running. So basically, I'm running to the inn, uh, which is where they said they were outside. And I'm going, oh, shit, with the guards. Uh, how I want to get within yelling range and try to get their attention. Sure. I look like one of them. Hey, what's going on? Uh, which ones are you yelling to? The three blocked by fire or the three going up the other way? Uh, if they can all hear me, everybody. I mean, it's not like you directionally yell. Hey, guys, look at that one lonely soldier. I bet we can pick that one off. <laughs> you already know the truth, Fireball you that asshole. One. 
I don't know. It's you. Hey, because I was going to say, you're all... supposed to be one guard, not seven coming to kill us. That plus, I'm pulling them Plus, their boss is right behind him. <laughs> you can probably <laughs> get them both. Make it a twofer. It's a, it's a twofer. <laughs> but I am trying to get. Uh, I'm trying to get as many people's attention to get them to come to me. Uh, D12 against me. If we can get. Uh, well, that's a tie. Four. Reroll. Come on. 11. <laughs> Fuck you. That's a 10. Uh, they cannot hear you. They are too busy. Oh, Dewey, uh, inside the loosely boarded window leading to an interior room is where the child's voice is heard. I will attempt to get in. You easily move the board, which was not secured very well. And in the fiery illumination behind you, you appear to be a giant creature. And you <laughs> see two shadows moving and begin to scream. Ah! There are two children in this room. The building's on fire. You're going to burn alive if you don't come with me. <laughs> come Negative with me or die. Two charisma. <laughs> Give me a persuasion check. Oh, yeah. that'll be good. It's better than it used to be. Uh, that is a six. <laughs> <laughs> no! Are you sure it's not intimidation? Did you, did you ever see the movie Tropic Thunder? I, it's been a long yeah. time. Remember when he's trying to convince the one guy, come on, you're Tug Speedman, you can do this. And he's like, not going to do it. He's like, fuck it, we'll do it the hard way. <laughs> Those kids are not going to move. <laughs> I grab them and start yanking them out. They are small human children. Uh, should be easy for your strength. Um, give me two d20 rolls. As long as you don't do a one, you'll be fine. Okay, let's not use the giant dice. Uh, natural 20 and a 13. Sure, you grab a hold of them. And with a natural 20, you grab a hold of them appropriately. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't need the Brad situation going on again. <laughs> yeah, if it would have been a five or something, it would have been a bad touch. Uh, you now have two human children. You burst outside on the balcony. These two are just pew, 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 lighting shit up, I assume. The Lucas guards have... Oh, okay. Um... If so where? Are... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to think. Like we already blocked off one way. Now we need to block off the other way and then make our escape. That's the Correct. plan. Mm -hmm. I am going to go ahead and fire my crossbows. I'm going to fire two from the unburnt, one at disadvantage from the burning. Uh, he, wait. Before I do the fire, though, I have another plan. As an action, I cast invisibility on myself. So we'll just shoot at my knees. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. And Dewey um, and the two future dead children. And then <laughs> as a bonus Thanks. action, I turn into a giant eagle and fly away. <laughs> <laughs> now, do, do all your belongings stay with you when you do yeah, that? Yeah, they meld oh, into me unless I decide not to. <laughs> you all wonder right. why I gave the box to my knees. So I make sure I did. The disadvantage is still going to be one, two, three, four, or five, six. <clears throat> three. So disadvantage on you, Lucas. Wait, why are they shooting at me? Uh, they saw you right before you went invisible. Oh, I thought I had initiative before. Okay. No, I, I had a nine. Uh, uh. Three. Uh, they miss you. Uh, the next one is going after uh, two, Manise. 14 plus 4, 18. Nope. And 2 again. Uh, 15 plus 4, 19. 19 hits. Because it. Damn it. Uh, take 4 hit points of damage. Oh, no. Dewey, you step out. Two kids under your arm. And Manise takes one in the shoulder. Uh, the guards are there, and Lucas is gone. Uh, safe way down with the children, or at least a safe way down for the children, and not Dewey. 
uh, it, here on the balcony, the guards are going to spot you. If you go oh, inside, at the guards. you can throw them down to the first floor. Probably be okay for all of you to jump down there. There's guards. Guards entered the building, though, correct? It's kind of an well, open I, floor. I get what you're doing. So if you go here, there's an opening here where you can toss them gently and or jump over. You're only one floor up, 10 feet. Uh, as long as you make a decent landing, you'll be okay. Uh, could I possibly jump balcony to balcony? Yes. <laughs> Uh, while holding the two children? While holding the two children? Sure. What I see Just straight like up an Yoshi them. Athletics to Throw them down out. for extra lift. Yes, but with a penalty. But. Oh, I'll do it at disadvantage if you like, too. Oh, yeah. It'll be a disadvantage. I, I mean, I won't do that. At... Okay. <clears throat> Maniz, are you uh, following Athletics him? or acrobatics? Uh, Maniz Your is flying away. Are you flying towards the plaza? Uh, in the direction that I would have assumed Lucas would have went. So away, you know, more coverage up I went in a up way. To watch the situation above <laughs> everything. And that is why Terran's X has a bow. It's oh. a great bow. Not even close. <laughs> is, he, is he rolling at disadvantage because he's so hammered? Yeah, and I only had to roll the first die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it was roll a five? Roll the one. <laughs> it's a five. <laughs> Shoots oh, himself okay. in the foot. <laughs> five plus six is 11. I don't think that's going to do it. No. Uh, Dewey, uh, you run down that short hallway. Look at the gap. Oh, no. Balcony to balcony. I, I'm trying to go outside around the building. There's well, no you've got balcony. guards here and guards here. So you'd have to go down the hallway and shoot this way. Oh, Think okay. of it as a okay. figure well, eight. Do that then. Okay. Uh, sure. As you go down the hallway. Sure I understand. I'll trust you. Okay. D12 against me. The way to get out. Right. D12. D12 on the first place that was on fire. Five. Five. Reroll. Ten. Eleven. If you run to the right, there are no guards there currently. Give me another D12 for the left. 11. Six. Uh, there are guards coming from your original entry point. So the spot that they first put on fire where you came up from being chased by the guards is currently open. You can run as you double Heisman it with the kids. Okay, I will do that. And I had to make a jump, correct? Correct. 23 was the athletics check. Very nice. Uh, they screech and piss themselves. You can feel the warm urine <sighs> on your side. Uh, I dressed but, in my nice clothes for this. But you successfully make the jump, leaving the guards behind. You are also alone with two children. Taryn, down at the base, nobody's answering. There's flames at both ends. You saw Manis fly off. You have no idea where Wait. Lucas is. You don't oh. know where Dewey is. Um, where did Manis fly off to? Up and back. I'm going to follow the direction he went. He's so you're going to have to get on the other side of the building. Yep. Okay. I went over there. You go running over there. Uh, an arrow flies into the side of the building as your drunken boyfriend can't hit the broad side of a barn. Dewey, on the other side, you find another set of stairs going down. I will take them. You go running down these stairs. The kids are hysterical. Uh, I know where you're at. Taryn, as you look at the building, do you want to go around to the left? Or do you want to go around to the right? <laughs> I'm going to the right, I guess. Fair enough. As you run around the corner... Uh, Maniz will recognize this point as where the dwarf got killed. You notice the three guards are trying to fight off the flames to try and get to your friends. And you see a squat uh, gnome running with 
two things underneath his arms. He is now in the back alley running for his life. Uh, as I see Dewey. <clears throat> well, you see a gnome. <laughs> uh, I'll, but to be fair, I, I am mean, very honest, honestly, extravagant looking right now. Honestly, he's kind of hard to miss, so I'm going to head follow him. You're in a darkened alley, though. Uh, up above, uh, you're seeing uh, some movement uh, down low there, Lucas and Maniz. Uh, yeah, I'm rolled. I rolled like a just for SNGs to see if I could figure out, and that was pretty high. That was 16 on the die. It's Dewey. Yeah, so I'm gonna follow him. Okay. Uh, how far <laughs> away do you want to run, Dewey? Um, I think I run faster than him. You don't. Well, oh yeah, it's what? What's your movement right now? He's got two kids under his arm. He's gonna be slowed. Oh, yeah. I've run at thirty-five anyway, so. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna take two turns dashing, so fifty yards from the building, and then drop the kids. <laughs> you reach the river's edge nicely. Okay. Uh, Just this... look at the kids. You need to hide. The city's being invaded, but once the invading forces come out, let them know you're there. Don't give them any ice water to drink. They may take that as a bad sign. It's a Vietnam War era. I got it. Apparently. Yeah, no. They understand. <coughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, they, they duck into an old building that hasn't been burnt. Uh, and disappear quickly. Behind you, you hear footsteps and a guard approaches. I prepare to destroy the guard. Taryn, <laughs> an individual menaces you as you come running down the alley. It's me. Menaces. Yeah, I, I'll go, hey, Dewey, it's me. She's using her boyfriend voice, though, so you don't know. <laughs> hey, Dewey. No, inhaling all that, inhaling all that smoke has ruined no, 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 lowered no. octaves. Taryn is a girl. I did make myself a girl guard, not a guy guard. Just for the record. Or had, the had I known that, it would have gone differently. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Que well, question, actually. Maybe it had Are to. Are there girl guards? Are there girl guards? There are girl guards. Okay, then yeah. Nice. I would have been a girl guard. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I didn't really want to, I'd have to change my voice. Disguise does not change your voice. So He, he was to... drunk. He, You got away with it. Yeah. I mean, you I changed at... it a little bit, you know, because just, just to disguise it, you acting, she can act. No, you can't. Oh, that you can't then... even tell a joke. <laughs> What should I tell the one that I told on Twitter? No. There? Okay, so you two are at the river's edge. Uh, Lucas, uh, you see <laughs> Maniz, he's floating <coughs> over. Uh, he is not in range of the guards. Uh, you are above him. Uh, you can if the go guards, inverted. <laughs> if the guards show up, I'll, I'll, I can try to, I don't look like a guard, I can try to talk to, you know, talk us out of this situation. Lucas and Maniz, are you going to descend? I'm going to wait until the situation cools down a little bit. Uh, do I have an eye of where Dewey went? Oh, yeah, you can see him. They're by the river's edge. I assume you can see, like, the creature that you... Uh, I think I have a bonus to perception. Let's see. Giant eagle. Oh, that's giant elk. We are there are two halflings uh, holding up a sign. Uh, Mordor for food. Do you want to pick them up? <laughs> That's good. No, I do not. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Giant eagle. <laughs> cut that. Do -do -do. Cut that story way yeah, down in my, time. My, I have keen sight, so I have advantage on perception checks that rely on sight. You, you see Maniz floating around. You also see Taryn and Dewey. You also see two sort rodents of. that look tasty. He so, sees a he sees a garden, Dewey. So right. Dewey, Dewey is out, not he's near right any. The, he's right along the river's edge. But he's he's not in the conflict anymore. So he's safe if I were to like land by him. You except feel for the fairly guard. certain. Yeah, except for the guard that he's talking to. Uh, whatever. Right. We can take one guard. Okay. Um, either way. Land I'll... on her. Surprise. <laughs> I, well, before I, before I turn, I'm going to land like 10 feet away as quietly as possible. Still Stealth. invisible. Yeah. Stealth roll. <laughs> as a giant eagle. As a giant eagle. We're not going to feel the breeze or anything like so that. So wait. What? Do, do I get advantage on stealth at least? 
No, not a because giant you're a giant eagle. <laughs> Straight up roll. Okay, well, that was a nat one, which is why I was asking. <laughs> the sign <laughs> the sign denoting a uh, tavern <laughs> shatters uh, as dumbass doesn't realize he's a giant eagle and can't make the turn. You suffer three hit points of damage, Lucas, and land with feathers. Okay, um, well, I'm going to, after I land, drop invisibility and revert back to my elven form. Oh, <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Still working on the landings. Um, and and Lucas, it's Terran. Yeah, it's oh, me. That's Terran? Where, where's, uh, so, Terran, did you get the piece? The magic I have piece? the piece. Yes, I do. <gasps> then we're good. Let's go back to my uncle. Your uncle, we have to... No, we need to put the Remember, thing together. Remember, we have to stop the evil. Hold, hold a on a second. Oh, oh, Your oh, uncle's oh, outside evils. of town. Manise, are you going to land or are you going to stay uh, up as Aerosmith? No, no, I'm uh, staying up away <laughs> in a running away sure. area distance. Sure, that's fine. Uh, okay, now you three may continue. Okay, well, we have all the pieces except for Manise's piece, so... And the box, which Manise also Manise has. has right now because I wasn't sure how that was going to go. So but you weren't exactly well. sure how that was going to go. No, no, I wasn't sure if there was going to be a bunch of people in there knowing this is the play we were going to make uh, that had and know that I do invisibility. I mean, I didn't know. The, the, the very, hey, there could have been spies in the meeting knew the plan. I did not know how that was going to go. That went much better than I thought it was going to go. Sure. Taryn, we're yes. in a hurry. Where do we need to go next? Well, Where I think, do you we think need... this likely is going to happen? Uh, well, wait a minute. I think we need to put the staff together, and I think it leads us to where we need to go. Can't put it together without my knees. I don't really oh, want to yeah. blow another spell at this point. Go bring him down here. Oh, I, I'll tr did we see him? Like, did I did I see Lucas go anywhere? Did I? See I was invisible. was invisible. I was invisible until I landed. Okay, would I see any the of them landing. meeting up anywhere? What are the oh, guards doing? Are they have the guards pursued us? The guards are searching house to house. Ah oh, shit! All right. Oh, shit. Um, we should probably grab the kids then. But but no, fuck those kids. No, the kids would probably be fine. The guards aren't gonna unless they were uh, demi humans. One of the kids was named How many Newt. of the torches were kids? <laughs> the kids are probably no. If the guards find the kids and then they're human, they're probably fine. I know. Probably the the torches that burn out the first are the kids. Those are used as interior torches. <laughs> yeah. They're well, called ta, they're called tyke torches. <laughs> tyke torches. <laughs> oh, they're awful. Oh, for the win. <laughs> That's right. We They're little get, tykes. We need to basically, we probably need to get out of this area because they're searching. Um, and he's, you can see that the guards are coming ever closer to the two, now three individuals on the dock. Are you coming, Maniz? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to come down. Uh, as you do, as you do, uh, you fly over and you notice there is substantial illumination at the library. Substantial illumination further down and on the other side of the river. And slight illumination uh, where the jail is on the far side of the city where Bushmill is just pumping flame. <laughs> he is burning that shit down. So who supposedly has the evil that we need to banish or contain? Io. I mean? Io. Io. And we but have this, no idea where Io is at. We remember that we heard one of the things that we were informed about the staff is once you put it together, it will lead you to him. Oh, I don't remember that. I thought it came from the dude that we didn't really trust to know anything. No. The one I, that died. <laughs> no, In my I think, arms. No, I believe that's the one you did trust. I, mean, I, I do remember from somewhere uh, it was said. Well, uh, I well, guess. With a bolt in his neck. <laughs> but I don't necessarily think this is a great, uh, very, since the guards are coming, 
Granted, I can try to talk them back. No, no, no. I, I would I rather I was hide than trust that. I don't trust it either. You hear a noise. Oh, shit. Well, I, I turn to look. It's the two children. They're coming. Hide. We're going. Well, uh, yeah, let's follow the children. Maybe they have a hiding spot. Can you, hey, I look at the children. And I'm like, listen, if you can, if you can talk to them or delay them, that would be really cool. Hey, no, no, no! Don't, don't! <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. Even gonna, I, who was willing to burn the down the building with children in their lives, now go sacrifice. Wait, 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 wait! Here's what? a dagger for each of you. Go Is the producer playing this game? <laughs> she hates kids. <laughs> uh, wait a minute! Wait, why are the guards? Can't wait a minute, kids. stop. They're not. Here are they demi humans or humans? The kids does it matter? Humans. Yeah, yes, it does. Because demi humans are the ones that are on the outs here. Why would they hurt children if they're the city guard? I could maybe see. I do you want to trust in the guard's kindness? You know, just look up at those torches. <laughs> they're, they're, you do you do weird bum, things bum. when you're being commanded. Fine, you're... fine, fine. Okay. Uh, hey, kids, go. do you have a hiding spot for us? Yes, in the cellar. All right, let's let's oh, go. In the cellar we go. All right, fine. We'll do that. Uh, you go through what would be considered an old coal chute. Everybody roll a d20. Um, and ease, you notice that your friends are filtering inside of a building. I thought he landed. Oh, that's right. He did land. Uh, 15. So, okay, you make it in. 10. Make it in. 16. Make it in. Manise, D20. Oh, geez, sorry. Oh, 12. <laughs> Make it in. Uh, all of you are in the basement of what appears to be a tavern. Uh, you'd be able to tell what the name is had Lucas not shattered the sign outside. Uh, there is a big row of casks, and the kids lead you over to an enormous size cask, and they open a secret door. Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. And you wanted to children. send these kids off no, to sacrifice no. them while we escaped. No, Dewey's, Dewey's kindness has clearly so. paid off as there is a level of trust involved. Do you go inside this giant cask? Yeah, yeah, this sounds safe. Uh, you who went in first? I'll go first. Oh, boy. <laughs> you and Dewey charge <laughs> through. You go through the complete length of the cask and exit into another room that uh, is made of stone. It looks like it's been carved out of the bedrock of the city. And there, I think it's, yes, there are eight people there with mundane weapons oh, who you have surprised. They hold the weapons out and look as all four of you spill out. The two kids come in behind you and slam the back of the cask shut and fasten the lock on it. Damn it. The people look at each one of you Shit. and then look at the kids. What are you doing bringing them here? I'm a guard too. That's even better. Yeah, they're going to kill you. Why, why uh, didn't you dispel <laughs> your... Uh, it's disguise. It's not magic. Uh, Newt. It is magic. It what is are you talking about? Dispel. It is magic. Okay. Newt answers and says, this one saved our lives. Why is the guard here? That I'm not, just looks like a guard. I'm not a guard. Magic. Not a guard. She was sneaking around. <laughs> the guard Who is wants to persuade the <laughs> rabble. Go ahead. No, the one with thing two charisma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have advantage? Can I? Can I out talk the kids? Can I will I, give you advantage. Can I out talk them? No. 17, go fuck yourself, Karen. <laughs> I did well enough. Did they good. lower their mundane weapons, uh, and Newt puts, puts, zero, by the puts way. her finger <laughs> to her mouth and points back. Everybody goes silent. Taryn, would you like to go ahead and begin your explanation now that everybody's gone silent? Explanation of what? Why am I guard or what we're doing? Either Basics. or. Frank is trying to trick you into talking and giving away our position. Shut up! Hey, 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 hey! She tried to out talk Dewey. So I was. I can't out talk you, fucker. So, although I'm not. Why don't you fine. tell a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Frank. So, 
that? Should I go with the thing I put on Twitter? I don't know. Do you want to speak? Um, geez. Actually, I want to call the three of them over and very... One of the rabble sticks a cutlery knife at the tip of your nose. All right. Listen, we're here to try to... Shut up. Shut up. Hmm. Perception checks. Oh, they're right outside the door? Yeah. Uh... (laughs) Or, uh, 19 oh, 14 uh it's 12 oh, perception sir i i was not aware it was for everybody uh six yep. six i hear nothing uh Manise doesn't hear it but you guys all hear in the cellar of the tavern moving scraping uh general signs of uh kind of destruction uh and you hear the faint words hey, alcohol here. oh no they're gonna figure out this <clears throat> cask is fake pretty soon i don't say that out loud that's what i'm thinking you do hear the door to the large cask open up i'm gonna put myself between i'm not gonna go up to it i'm gonna stay here but i want to put myself in the front because i still look like a guard this thing's empty there you are you right, hear casks see. being moved and chomping up the stairs. Let's wait it out. <clears throat> After about 10 minutes, tick tock, boys and girls, uh, everything goes silent in the room next door. Uh, the individual with the knife glares at you, Taryn, and then drops the knife and goes to the back of the room. All right, guys, let's thanks. reassemble the magic I actually, item. I actually, yeah, look at it like, like, thanks. Do we, we want to do I that? I give the pieces back to Taryn. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you uh, you give me the box, but you're not giving me the piece. Are you giving her the piece, Manise? Yeah, and I give her my piece as well. She holds all three pieces. Yeah. I don't Please take them. Please assemble it. it. <laughs> I'll take the box back, but I don't care. You can, you can keep the dozen We're matter. playing a game of hot potato right now, Frank. I, I am all the Can thing, I go and talk to the uh, the thing I want to whisper refugees? The thing I want to whisper to the other two then, since he's going to do that, is do we want to do this in front of them? I don't care. Yeah, just get one of the kids to hold all the pieces. <gasps> That's a great no idea. Okay, maybe not one of the kids, but one of the other people. See what happens. Here, There's, here. We don't need to. Okay. Hey, you want to hold this for a second? <laughs> and then you hold this one and you hold this one and all three of you come together. Dewey doesn't have a piece, right? If you really don't want to hold it, give it to Dewey. Do, do, Dewey gets both Dewey's pieces. Dewey's not even there. So. Well, Dewey well, is talking the, with the people. We're yeah. still in the same room. Okay. Yeah, but he's, he's talking but to like the people. By the way, I, I hold up my orb and then Taryn Maniz, you want to put your pieces in? We'll, we'll just get this over with. Oh God, this is going to hurt. Ah. It's going to hurt. As each of you uh, expose your pieces, you can feel the arcane power pulsing through each piece. And as Taryn has pointed out, this is going to hurt. hurt. (laughs) I've been shocked by this before. I wanted friggin' Dewey to be the one. You were shocked once. Yeah. (laughs) We're good. Okay. Uh, Before you put the staff back together, Dewey, what do you want to ask the refugees? Well, first, I just let them know how we're part of the invasion force that's currently happening. We're looking for General Io and a tall tiefling who doesn't look very nice uh, uh, named Samuel Witt. Do you know where they are? <laughs> Samuel Witt's at the library. And oh, that's General Io? Uh, D12 against me. D12. We, I love a, you. Do this for me. Five. Shit. Ten. <laughs> I don't know where General Io is. Okay. Louie, I think he's lying to you. I slit Kill all him. their throats. <laughs> starting with the children. I thought you were a hero, Dewey. <laughs> Eh, it depends on the Not when I get lied to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you three ready to put the magical staff together? Yep. Not really. I but okay. take the piece from my knees. <laughs> yeah. Because if people die, I'd like the healer to pick them back up. Hey, FYI, I picked it. up uh, Mass Cure Wounds when we leveled up. Yeah, but. So I'm the you, one that should I be spared 
<laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, know. I have mass cure wounds. Yeah, but can you resurrect people if we friggin' die? No. So will I be the one that dies? No. No, Are I'm you the going one. to have the rabble around you when you do no, this. No, only raise one of you, by the way, right? Like yeah, if no. all three of you Just die, me. only one's coming back. <laughs> it's me. Actually, can you do two? Because no. it doesn't cost a component for him. No, uh, it would be uh Oh, do you only have one you only have I one? Only have one slot. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. One, we put one piece wedged in the corner, the orb. <laughs> Then we only need two other people to push the the items into the orb. Right, because the damage probably will not affect the structural integrity of the building and collapse on you guys. Just real quick. Yeah. I thought the orb was one of the first pieces we found. Is this just There's two orbs. I forgot. Orb this two rod. Bar- little orb. barbells. <laughs> Okay. There's okay. two orbs because that yeah, I had a golden orb. I found okay. a golden orb, and yeah, there's an orb for the top. All right. Either way, okay. Fuck it. Let's get this over with. I hold the orb out. Let's do this, guys. I got the staff. Oh, hold on, hold on. And we also warn the. And refugees. I put my other hand on Dewey's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit lower. This is like an electric fence here. <laughs> oh well, Dewey's holding one piece. Manise is the oh, only we're one doing not like, piece. We're doing like the end of Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, 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 the, oh, the purple okay. stone. That's what I put I'm my, Instead of putting my hand on Dewey, I'm putting my hand <coughs> on the head of one of the little kids. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Lucas, we need extra life chest. off his head. <laughs> ready? Yeah, ready. Oh my god, no! But yes, let's. Do and it. we all died. And the kid, right? <laughs> Thank God I'm a full hit. Point is my damage right split in half because I, I distributed it among me and the kid? No, it is not. Uh, 18 damage electrical. Right. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I Everyone? am down. What? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I was going to say, how could you be down this time? You have like 500 <laughs> hit points, man. How are you As dead? the artifact comes together, it emits a brilliant white light and electricity burns through all three ah. of you knocking you onto your back the staff falls to the ground and remains intact uh Maniz, you notice that little tufts of smoke are coming off your three <laughs> associates however the staff the rod of catching appears to be intact Holy shit. The staff. dewey says stop as you guys remember from the half hour conversation we had into the town Someone who uses arcane <sighs> magic is the only one capable oh, of wielding shit. this. Uh, I do. Oh, shit. I do. I do. And they You're cannot the use the rod of catching and the box. All right. You want... That takes two of I'll you. I'll take the box. That takes two of you <laughs> out of melee. Uh, maybe Maniz should take the box. Should take the box. <laughs> <laughs> and Maniz, remember the magic words. <sighs> Captus Morgolis, or you'll be infected with <gasps> evil. Sure? Yeah. Neith, are you paying attention? No shit. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'd rather ask Terra. I'm question, supposed to say cat thing. box litter or Wait, cat but... scratch fever, I think. <laughs> so I pick up the staff. Um, here's the question I have. Uh, how does you the die. arcane... <laughs> How does the arcane? I could just use remove curse. How does the arcane magic fit into this puzzle? It just has to be wielded by someone with arcane magic because it's more of a neutral magic, as opposed to divine. But do you have to actually wild. cast magic into it? I don't know. I don't have any words. You for have it. no idea. You just now have to use the staff as your only weapon now. Everybody give me an insight check. Let's see if you guys are smart enough to figure this one out. Uh, sure. I rolled a 15. Can I use my intelligence instead. Or an intelligence uh, 11? Check. Carol may be smart enough. Luckily, one last question. Yeah. As the gnome that I am, I know more about magical, technological, and alchemical items or objects. Can I add a little bonus or do it at advantage? I'll give you plus two. 
What was yours, Lucas? Thank you. Uh, six. <laughs> I'm helping. Eighteen. Uh, Manise and Dewey both surmise <coughs> one of us needs to hold the box and open it as the other one probably points. Hopefully it doesn't matter which end of the rod at our target. Are they identical? And, and, and guide them in, Ray. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and remember, don't and cross the streams. Full circus. So the, all right, so does it are the two orbs exactly the same so there's really no front or back end they look the same to you okay so uh, when you hold it hold one end <coughs> away from you and yeah, the other I, end pointed at the thing I, at dewey directly yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a rocket launcher right you don't hold it like this because <laughs> it's not gonna work does this thing actually <laughs> work as a weapon like can i Beat people. No. With you want to? You want to beat one of the children? No. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna have to. We're probably gonna have to fight. I hope. You think? Yeah. <laughs> we have to get him down to a certain point before we can do this. That's we'll just find a guess. Out. Oh Lord. Yeah. Next time. We'll find out. Let's get some healing and let's head to the library. That's hey, where can, General Iowa. Hey, uh, Manise, can you do that? We have we probably have ten minutes. I think we can do it. Could you do that yeah. thing where you can heal us all in ten minutes? Oh, I can heal or whatever points because it'll in ten minutes. Give me a sec. Where the mask cure wounds? Can you yes. can do mask cure prayer of healing. Prayer yeah, healing was the one I was thinking. Prayer healing was the one I was thinking of. Da, da, da. Each target regains the equal to 3d8 plus my thing. Holy How shit. are we doing on so time in game wise? Yeah, how long have we spent? Everybody gains 20. That'll put me back to full. Oh man, I'm barely up there now. <laughs> I'm not at full, but I'm that, rever closer. that literally reversed all the damage we just took though from, from the staff. And then some. Cactus for goals. Interesting. Oh, mass cure wounds is one action. I should, you were thinking of prayer of healing. Which yeah, that's the yes. one I was thinking. That, that would have been better, but too late. It doesn't matter that that cure that that said that, okay. that ended all the damage. We didn't so. spend 10 minutes doing that. We did no. it quickly, and then we're running to the library. After so, a long rest. Stop, 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 stop. No. <laughs> So if I said if I remember right, this thing is supposed to lead us to the evil. So do I get any sense? Focus your arcane energy through the staff. That's why I was like, do I cross cast? the river? So I do can tell. Towards the library. Towards the library. She would know. That's right across the river. It it's uh, across the river, so you have to come. Four blocks this way, cross the river. That's Granny's house. One, two, three, four, and then two more in. So, uh, and since you aren't invisible currently, you're going to have to be cautious. Or you can go reckless. I don't care. Either way, I'm fine with it. I'm going to keep the guard disguised as long as I can, which is how long does that last? I don't last for one hour. So. You got a little bit of time left. Between that and the fact I can bluff or, you know, deception. Can uh, I grab a cloak from one of the refugees <coughs> to uh, disguise myself as a little child running around with a guard? Sure. Yeah, perpetual. With a massive battle axe. <laughs> sure. Do you want to uh, take their food while you're at it? <laughs> I'm just asking if they have an extra cloak. Nicely. D12, D12 against me. I mean, if you like, I'll roll persuasion. See if that works. Uh, nine. Yeah, they got a cloak. All right. They I'll... pull the cloak off from the corner. There is a corpse uh, and hand you the dead guy's cloak. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like decay. You got a little red on you. Is that gay? 
Now it's Jim Gay, his brother. <laughs> Uh, okay, you guys are gonna bail. That's bail. Yeah. Who We're wants to D twelve to see if the guards are around? Uh, do you guys trust? No, you know he's beating me every freaking time. Someone I'll else. Do it, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Nobody's. It won't go well. Kick Wait. his ass. No, it's gonna go great because Wait. he rolled a one. Wait. I rolled an eight. Woo! Guards are gone. I woke up my kids. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Please note that there is no illuminaries along this side of the river. There are some human beings on fire on the other side, though. Ugh. Plus, all the decaying dead bodies in the river give it a real earthy scent this time of night. Uh, and you I'm see the moon starting to rise to its zenith in the sky. Oh, as God. well as the other one. How many? All right. So, how much time has elapsed? You have about two hours. We've been doing this fuckery for two. Wow. Well, you covered a lot of ground. We did. We did. I'm pretty pleased. I <clears> feel <throat> like it was two hours worth, though. So, are you? Oh, please. The contest with Lucas Moniz and Dewey on the balcony alone took forever. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, do you want to head towards the bridge? Yeah. Who wants the D12 for the bridge? I'll do it. Nine. Twelve. God damn it! It's not the just The bridge me. explodes Harry, instantly. take the dice away from him, Carrie. <laughs> Please there, take There is an him. individual on the bridge. Oh, it is a female holding a staff, and she tells four lackeys to go towards the dock and four lackeys to go towards the library. As Do you I... hide in the shadows, you can hear this plain as day as her cackling mouth is very Fran Drescher like. <laughs> Do, I... Do I know who this is? Or who Fran Not. Drescher is? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I know who Fran Drescher is. The Taren nanny. Doesn't. Google the nanny. <laughs> I love the nanny. That was a great show. You do not know who this is. You don't even have to roll. No, that's fine. How close is she standing to the edge of the bridge? She is right in the middle of the bridge. Hmm. Fuck you. The bridge isn't very wide. Oh, okay. It's two wagons width. Uh, give me perception check at disadvantage. All of us? Yep. Three. Uh, that's not going to be terrible. Uh, perception? Uh, nope. <laughs> at disadvantage. 21. 12. 11. 21 at disadvantage. Wow, that's impressive. Lucas, yeah. uh, with your superior <coughs> half elven sight, uh, better than Terran's apparently, you notice that as in the moonlight, her skin appears to be scaly and possibly a metallic blue. Like oh, a dragonborn? Shit. Kind of like a dragon. A dragon. Oh, oh kind of like a dragonborn. Huh, huh. Or, or yeah. a dragonborn. I mean, it's not a dragon, but it's yeah, okay, kind of looks that way. <laughs> nice. Uh, cool. That's good to know. I uh, I whisper that to my colleague, saying, "This might be bad." Uh, I see dragonish scales on her. And she dress is she how is she dressed, or can we? So say? we have to cross this river. We don't have to like take a, a bridge, wizard. right? But not like a guard. Not like a guard. <laughs> Manise, Manise, fly us across the river one by one. Why don't you fly us across the river one by one? You can make a bigger bird than me. Yeah, but it's my last wild shape and we're going to have a big battle. <laughs> it's got a point. All right, fine. Yes, I go first. <laughs> you want to be alone? <laughs> yeah, I'll, be I'll, be, I'll be alone. I have plenty of escape spells. So do I. Manise, stealth check. 
I will use my powers of perception against you. To show that there are two full moons rising in 13. the sky, causing plenty of light. 17 on the die. <laughs> you fly with Lucas hanging on, and you notice... <laughs> Bam! And strikes the staff as electricity leaps from the staff. Um, <laughs> 19 on the die. I need you both to make saving throws. Oh, both of us? What, what Not just my niece? Yep. Which what? one? Save? Uh, saving throws. Yeah, which one? Consti constitution, Con please. Uh -oh. You are hanging on. 16. Now is now is where it takes effect. Uh, two. <laughs> you well, will the suffer. lightning is rictus, right? So he's holding on even tighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, his, his tiny bird feet are broken. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with a two, you're going in the drink. With all their well. dead bodies? I, yes. sh I shall hide with them. This is... <laughs> <laughs> 12 damage to Lucas, 6 damage to Maniz. Maniz, you feel a great weight has been lifted and you kind of bump up. Lucas, 1 to 2, you hit the dock on the other side. 3 to 4, you hit a body. Mm. 5 to 6, you hit water. Six. 7 to 8, it's a really nasty body <laughs> and it explodes when you hit it. <laughs> okay, let's try D eight then. So, what was your roll? It was a six. I hit you, water. You splash into the water. Do you want to rise back up? Um, I am going to swim a little eight. bit and then come up very slowly, as to not draw attention. Maniz, you've been struck by a lightning bolt, presumably from the staff. What would you like to do? Um. Mm. Do, do, do I take damage? What do? What happened? Yeah, you took six damage. Oh, geez, I didn't even. Sorry, I didn't hear that part. Uh, Taryn, Dewey, you both shut yourself as you watch Lucas shot out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, you guys are next. <laughs> you have to fly across next, guys. Please, me next. Me next, buddies. <laughs> I'm really like just I want to play. Um, you're on the other side of the river. Um, you're all on your own. <laughs> <laughs> you have the freaking box. <laughs> and Taryn has the he shouts from the other I side of the box right, right. across, <laughs> striking Please. Lucas on the head, knocking him unconscious, and he drowns. <laughs> All right, let's not do that. What do we box real floats out to the bed? <laughs> what do we think the box would think? There's Taryn's sister's head. She collects the box. <laughs> Boink. 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 <laughs> Wilson comes into view because they've had it's, some time it's to get drawn to, to know evil. each other now. Uh, Maniz, you're on the other side. What do you want to do? You want to stay in the air or drop down? I'll. Uh... I'll drop down and try to get Lucas out of the water. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am okay down here. <laughs> uh, I'll go back for Dewey, I guess. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is so bad. Okay, that's Dewey's going to cross on foot. Uh, across the bridge with the lightning? Uh, sure. 16 get you this time, Manise? No. Uh, that bitch is flinging lightning bolts out of that staff. Uh, you get to the other side as some of your tail feathers fly off. Uh, and you have successfully drawn the individual's attention. Whoop. Question. Three. Yes. Is the bridge made out of stone or wood? Stone. Fuck. Okay. Okay, now blow in the <laughs> was gonna, Yeah, I was going to swim under the bridge and light it on. <laughs> Uh, Lu Lucas, can you swim by chance? Oh, yeah. I'm a good swimmer. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Maniz, you land. Dewey, Taryn, you see Maniz land. You saw the second lightning bolt. You look. The individual is headed this way. 
Folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff like that, uh, it's down there. If you want to shoot the shit on Discord, it's down there. Um, most importantly, if you want to join us on the talk show or on one of the one shots, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We will get you in. Uh, thanks to Pirate Dog Dice for dice that really fuck these guys over tonight and of course oddfishgames.com for all of their support uh in two weeks period we end this campaign uh so join us join us tuesday for between the rolls uh final thoughts dewey hey we got through a whole session we didn't have to fight anybody that was nice close uh carol very close that was exciting that's oh my god i do i love sessions like this that was exciting and tons of fun and yeah interesting because i figured for sure we've run into some sort of combat but we did it and that's wow tell that to my knees Ernest, yeah, final thoughts. Well, <laughs> uh that that was lots of fun i'm surprised that we found the last piece of that staff without even joining taryn she could have done this entire mission by herself um I, you know, and I think the best part was uh, me falling out of the sky. That was uh, that was my favorite. There's now a I... lot of good parts that you guys did. And though. Chris, final thoughts. I didn't die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you're gonna, you have two more trips <laughs> or two you know, more. Yeah, yeah, but hey, wait. Six let me damage point out. is not gonna kill me. Let me point out something. Now, granted, it, when we're full hit points, he has, Manise has more than me. But right now, I'm pretty sure I may have more than Manise. So Manise is probably the low man on the totem pole, the hit point totem pole. Could be. Uh, folks, thanks for watching. Tune in <laughs> in two weeks when we end this bitch of a campaign oh, yeah. one way or another. Everybody wave. We are done. Uh, Not yet. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Muted. Muted? No? Maybe? Okay. Holy wait. shit, that was awesome. That was... Uh, I wasn't sure what to expect, man. I wasn't sure what to expect with that.